Hi friends, welcome to biologyexamsfarid.com. Today's topic of our discussion is how is plant cell different from bacterial cell? We will be having a side by side comparison of cell type cell wall, organelles, DNA, ribosomes and flagella within 5 minutes. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe and support this channel. Let's begin with the similarities of plant cell and bacterial cell. Both plant cell and bacterial cell are having a cellular organization with a cell wall and a cell membrane. And DNA is the genetic material in both and protein synthesis occurs with the help of ribosome. Let's move into the difference. Difference number one, basic cell structure. As you all know, plant cell is eukaryotic. It is having a well-defined nucleus. Here you can see this is a nucleus and the genetic material is surrounded by a nuclear membrane then we call it as a true nucleus or eukaryotic. Whereas in the case of bacteria, bacterial cell is prokaryotic. You can see the genetic material is not surrounded by a membrane then we call it as prokaryotic. Pro means first formed nucleus, karyo means nucleus or primitive nucleus. Difference number two regarding cell wall. Plant cell wall is cellulosic. So this is the cell wall. It is made up of cellulose, hemicellulose and pectin. The cell wall is made up of cellulose microfibrils as you can see and it is made up of the monomeric unit is beta D glucose. Whereas bacterial cell is made up of polysaccharides and proteins. In the case of few bacteria, cell wall is peptidoglycan, whereas archaebacteria is having a different cell wall composition. It is made up of polysaccharides and glycoproteins. So this is a peptidoglycan cell wall. It is made up of N-acetyl glucosamine and N-acetyl muramic acid that is cross-linked by amino acids. As you can see, this is the amino acid cross-linking. Difference number three regarding organelles. In the case of plant cell wall, presence of membrane bound organelles like ER, Golgi, chloroplast, mitochondria, all membrane bound organelles are present doing specific functions like chloroplast involved in photosynthesis, mitochondria involved in cellular respiration, like that. Whereas in the case of bacteria, membrane bound organelles are absent. But as you all know, cyanobacteria is a group of bacteria that is capable of carrying out photosynthesis. In that case, it is having some structures like thylakoids is present in cyanobacteria that is involved in carrying out photosynthesis. Thylakoid membrane is present. Then there is a structure called mesosome, which is actually an infolding of plasma membrane or cell membrane of bacteria that is thought to be involved in DNA replication, cell division, and also in cellular respiration. Difference number four regarding DNA. In the case of plant cell, DNA is linear with histone proteins. And in the genes, there are introns or non-coding sequences within the gene. As you can see, there are it is organized into chromosomes. DNA is wrapped around histone proteins. Plasmids are absent in plant cell. Whereas in the case of bacterial cell, DNA is circular without histone proteins. Often introns are absent but in the case of archaebacteria introns are often present. So as you can see DNA is not complexed with histone proteins but there are some non-histone proteins in bacteria. Then the second point is plasmid is present in bacteria. Plasmids are extra chromosomal double stranded self replicating DNA molecule that is present in bacteria that is having specific functions like fertility plasmid that is involved in conjugation, then collagen secreting plasmids that is involved in collagen production, like that. Difference number five, ribosomes and flagella. In the case of plant cell wall, ribosome is 80S which is made up of 40S small subunit and 60S large subunit. Generally plant cells lacks flagella. In lower groups like pteridophytes, bryophytes, they are having ciliated sperms or male gametes. Even in cycus, gymnosperms, cycus is having ciliated male gametes. Generally speaking, flagella is absent in plants. Whereas in the case of bacteria, ribosome is 70 years, which is made up of small subunit 30 years and large subunit 50 years. It is having a long flagella that is made up of protein called flagellin and is involved in movement. 
and there are short hair like structures projecting from the surface which is called as pili or fimbriae that is meant for cell to cell attachment and also for cell to surface attachment if that pili is involved in conjugation then it is called as sex pili these are the major differences between plant cell and a bacterial cell if you find this video useful please subscribe share and like thank you so much for your support you are with biologyexamsforyou.com